hi everybody welcome back to my channel and in this video i am going to be teaching you how to calculate your own stop loss take profit and your own lot size now this is going to be quite a long video maybe about 10 to 15 minutes so please make sure you have a snack and a beverage of your choice and paper and pencil to take notes so let's get into it first thing first when it comes to you setting up your own stop loss and take profit that just basically means that you need to have a trading technique or a system of rules so make sure that you have a technique where you know where you're going to take profit where you're going to put your stop loss first and this just comes from the strategy or technique that you're learning from someone or that you're creating on your own and it's especially important if you're a new trader because these are things that you have to back test and what you want to do is take the same setup over and over and over and over again to know the take profit placements to know the stop loss placements so let's get into it i'm going to take you guys through an actual trade that i took and i shared this here on my youtube channel a few weeks ago um in my 15 minute trading day episode so if, if you guys want to see the playlist i'll link it below in the description so let's go ahead and let's get into it so this is one of my actual setups i keep a clean chart all the time i don't really trade with a lot i trade based on supply and demand and that's really much it if i have indicators the indicators are only used when market is trending and once again that's really about it so it's just based on a, a simple system so what i would want to do is once price gets into an area that i want to trade in and i always make sure my trades are highlighted and i recommend that you do the same always make sure your trades are highlighted and here's what i mean let's say that you're trading a technique and maybe you're using support or resistance or trend line or whatever the case it actually means that your price action is actually touching one of the structures that you trade and it doesn't really matter what it is so for me it is touching my supply zone here so this is an area where i would want to take profit back down to the previous low see simple right so i already have my take profit now this will potentially be the candle that i'm entering if i'm an aggressive trader if i'm a very conservative trader this will be the candle that i will enter on and so i'm okay with that and once again this just goes into understanding your entry now because your entry and your stop loss is what's going to help you create your lot size so i really want you guys to get that in now so let's go ahead and let's say that i entered the trade conservatively they said i enter in on this hammer candle after the doji so i would get my short position tool and let's go over the tools really quick whatever system that you're using it should come with its own set of tools or you should be able to use manual tools such as squares that you can use to help set your stop loss and take profit for your risk or you can use here on tradingview.com and if you want to use tradingview for free i'll have a link in my description below as well what you can also do is you can use their position tools so they have what's called a short position tool and a long position tool so let me show you guys where you can find these tools at if you go over here to the left hand there are a lot of icons but what i want you to do is go to the icon that's going to have the long position tools. So it should be from the cross here. One, two, three, four, five, six icons down. And you should see long position, short position. What I'd like you to do is click a star. There should be a little star when you go to the icons, the rest of the icons. And just click on the star next to long position and short position. Somewhere on your price chart, you're going to see those tools in a box. There are six dots on the side of that box and you can drag the tools anywhere you want to kind of clear a path so that you can easily assess it. So we're going to use the short position tool because short means to sell. So what I will do is I will put or place the short position tool with a candle close because obviously you always want to enter the market when price has closed or when that candle has closed for that time period that you're trading on. For me, I enter my trades on the daily time frame. So the red candle or the bearish candle closes at the bottom. This is the candle body, it closes at the bottom. So I will place the tool at the bottom of the candle and then this is where you're going to begin adjusting it. So there are about four dots. There's a dot here, 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 and then here. And these dots just help you move the, the tool. So I can move it horizontally, 
I can move the take profit, which is here in green, or the stop, which is here in red. And as you can see, the word stop is for red. The word target, which actually means take profit as well, is in the green. Now, the numbers that you really want to pay attention to, and hear me well, let me zoom in here. The numbers that you are going to be paying attention to are the numbers after the parentheses here. So you see how this number says 92. And if I go to the bottom, the number after the parentheses says 82. Well, if I adjust it, these numbers will change because I need to adjust this due to my stop loss and my take profit. So my take profit is down here back to the previous low as mentioned earlier in the video. So I'm going to adjust this take profit, this bar, I'm going to line it up where I want to exit the trade for profit if it goes my way. What I then also want to do is adjust my stop loss. So here I'm just going to use a number. So let me explain this part really quick. Whenever you are trading, wherever you place your stop loss is going to be based on, once again, the technique or strategy you're learning from someone else or what you're creating. If you are creating your own, I suggest you test three numbers and here's why i say three numbers you want to give your trade wiggle room just in case price tries to spike against you you want to kind of put it in a place where it's far enough that price can't reach it but it's not too far to where you don't have a decent risk to reward it's very very important because you want to make sure once again that even though the stop loss will be out of reach for price just in case it comes to spike you out, it's not going to consume what you can make in return because once again, your lot size is dictated by your stop loss and your capital. So if this is my entry candle here, that bearish hammer, I kind of want to put my stop loss above that, cam that candle. So I'm going to place my stop loss, let's say 30 pips, because this isn't really a fast currency pair. So I'll say 30 pips. So I will go to 53 pips. So we're just going to use an example here. Normally what I do is in a situation like this, I will use a Fibonacci to get my stop loss. I just like to use that personal tool. So that's what I would typically do. So I don't have to use a number, but once again, test numbers. So let's say for example, if I use 35 pips here, I would test 45 and 55 as well as I'm back testing. See which one of those numbers gets hit often. If 35, if 35 pips gets hit often, meaning that's an additional 35 pips I add on top of the wick or below the wick of my entry candle, then I won't use that number. If 45 pips doesn't get hit as often, I will use that number. So I don't really have to use the number 55 because I see that the number 45 will work better than 35. So I hope you guys catch what I'm saying here. It's all about back testing. It's all about studying. Pause for the cause. I am having a back testing session tonight. So if you guys want to join me in my back test and chill session, make sure you click the link below to register for the class. There is a code in the link that you will receive by email. So let's finish getting into this. Now that I have my stop loss set, as you guys can see, my stop loss is the number 53 and my take profit is 140 pips. There's one more number you want to pay attention to, and that is your risk to reward. Now, my risk to reward on here is 2.62, which is really, really good. And the way this is calculated is you divide your stop loss into your take profit. That is how you get your risk to reward numbers. It's just a ratio, right? How much can I risk versus how much can I gain? That's what this means. And you really want to be able to get a handle on this lingo and terminology early in your trading career. That's why I'm making this video for you guys. So now the next step is you can't just place the tool and not do anything. You now want to put it into your order panel. This is where you're going to put this information in your demo account if you're demo trading or your live account if you're live trading with real money or you write this this number down this information down if you're just back testing the system you could put it in an excel spreadsheet you can physically write it down if you have a journal then you could put it in your journal as well too so now that you understand that we're going to risk 53 pips to gain 140 pips let's go ahead and let's calculate this manually so you can know the numbers behind the scenes or behind your trade setup so I want you guys to follow this calculation here. Your lot size, once again, is dictated by your capital and your stop loss. So we want to get that part out the way first. So here's what this means. If you have the starting capital of $1,000 and you wanted to risk, let's say we wanted to risk 2% 
of our capital in our first trade. That means that you're going to risk $20. So let's do this in our calculator. So I want you guys to get a calculator or get your phone, go to your calculator, and you're going to type in 1,000 times 2%, which is going to equal $20. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your stop loss. And let's say that in this example, our stop loss is 53 pips. So you want to write that down. In this example, your stop loss is 53 pips. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to keep the number 20 on your phone, but you're going to divide it by 53. As you can see here, your lot size is now going to equal 0.3773. So we're just going to use the first three numbers, or if we round it up because of the five, it will be 0 0.3775, but we're just going to keep the first four numbers for now. So let's talk about what this is, because some of you guys are going to say, Shaquan, that's a long number, or that number doesn't sound right. Keep in mind that because we're on the calculator, it's calculating this by normal mathematical terms. So this is actually 37 cents. But when you play, and this is in units, but this is actually 37 cents. And we know 37 cents to be in our world 0 0.037. Because actually your lot size in this case is not 0 0.37 or $37. That's not what this is, okay? So when you look at this number, you can say, what you're calling, that's a four-digit number. We can't place this four-digit number into our order panel, especially if you're using lot sizes in MetaTrader. So these are called units. This is a unit size, okay? Unit sizes and lot sizes are the same. You just input them differently. So if you're using your MetaTrader, your MetaTrader is going to ask you what lot size do you want to use. Normally, in this case, you would just round up or down. You say, I want to use 0 0.03 or 0 0.04 because it's not going to allow you to put in the extra digits. However, there are some cases where some brokers will allow you to put in the full amount. That way you're going to risk exactly $20, no more and no less. So I like to use TradingView. TradingView is a platform where I am analyzing all of my price charts, I'm analyzing my currency pairs, and I am analyzing my stocks because I do invest in stocks and I invest in ETFs. From time to time, I'll even look at cryptocurrency. And TradingView allows me to look at this all in one place. And it's also a platform that you can use to backtest. You can use bar replay. You can use their order panel and you can connect your broker with them if they are partnered with your broker. I use the broker Oanda. I like them. I think they're a really great broker. And so they allow me to use unit sizes so I do not have to round up, nor do I have to round down. I can actually risk the exact amount. So I can risk my, let's say this is the $20 that I wanted to risk versus going up or down to where I'll be over leveraging or under leveraging. So this is what I really like to do. But this is the calculations, you guys. And I want you to watch this. 773 units or... 0.03773 lot size is what I am going to be using to make my money, right, per pip. This is how much I value each pip movement. What this means is if price reaches my 143 pips, and we're going to write that down as well too. I'm going to write down the reward price. That means that if I multiply this number times 143, then that means by the end of this trade, I should make $53.96, okay? So did you get the gist of that calculation? And I'll go over it slower. Your lot size is determined by your capital and your stop loss, okay? The way you get this is first, you need to know your risk tolerance. How much are you okay with risking in that first trade or per trade? And you want to make sure that you keep this risk percentage the same amount. So if you're okay with risking 2%, that means wherever your capital is at that moment, you're going to risk 2% of that. So let's say that our starting capital or our capital at the moment is $1,000. We risk 2%. That's going to equal $20. Now, please keep in mind that as your account grows, that that will change. So let's say that I wanted to risk um, 2% on $1,200. Then that means that I'm going to be risking a higher amount because my account has now grown. So always keep that in mind. So in this example, your stop loss was 53 pips. So you're going to divide your $20 into 53. 
and that gave us the unit size or the lot size of 0 0.3773, which is equal to an actual number of 37 cents. Now that we know what our lot size is going to be, you're going to now multiply that number times your take profit in pips, because this means that you value each pip as that lot size or at that unit size. So 37 cents times 143 pips is going to give you the grand total amount of $53.96. You guys, this is how you calculate this number on your own. So I hope that you guys wrote all this information down and I hope that you can go and practice it. And just keep in mind that if you wanted to use a position that says, hey, Shaquan, how do I buy this information now? Well, if you wanted to calculate that, you just use your long position tool. The difference is the green is on top and I'll show you the example here. The green is on top for your take profit or your target and the red is on bottom. And that's really much about it. It's not really that hard. You just have to practice it a little bit and you will go through the same information. So I want you guys to stay tuned to my next video that's going to come out soon. I'll be showing you guys how to do this in your order panel. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. You guys be safe out here in these streets.